Oh. Hey, what's up? All right, in-camera effects. My personal favorite. I love, uh, I love just shooting practical effects. It's just more fun, and it oh, makes editing a lot easier. Uh, takes me back to the old school VHS days where we wanted to edit a video we had to do it in camera and if you wanted an effect you had to do it in camera well anyways little effect we're gonna be doing today is with the flip ultra HD you can probably do it with any camera this effect um, it's actually pretty cool how it turned out this is a vignetted film look and what I did was I got some gaffers tape you could probably use electrical tape probably don't want to use uh, like duct tape it's gonna gum up your screen um, anyways, but I put it on the screen here and you can kind of see I did all four sides and I turn my camera on and I just kind of work the tape up a little bit just ever so slightly so you see a little bit of a vignetted look. If you get the tape up too high, you're going to see a black line. You don't really want that, but you can kind of just judge it and just get it the way you want it. And I did that on all four sides so I got a little bit of a fade, just a little vignetted and uh, it's a pretty cool look. Um, I made a little test video that I'll put a link here somewhere in this video uh, and I'll put it in the description for sure but don't click it yet because I did a little extra something. I picked up one of these little uh, gel sampler packs and these things are awesome. They're like four bucks. If you get a chance you might want to pick them up and they pretty much have every single gel you can get. And uh, for this little effect I just got like uh, an orange and uh, put this in front of the screen and it gives it just a little bit of a, a sepia look. Um, the cool thing is, this was kind of an accident and it turned out awesome. By holding it like this and just kind of moving it so it catches some of the light, it looks like film bleed that you'd get in like a, an old film. It's a pretty cool effect, but you'll see that in the test film I shot. I think you'll like it. Uh, it's pretty... Ow. Ah. Okay. Uh, I think you'll like it. Uh, it turned out pretty cool. I was surprised how good it looked. Um, but the idea is just to be able to upload a video directly using, like in this case, the flip software. You do a little trimming, upload it, boom, you got effects. You didn't have to send it into your editor, which is always kind of fun, because like for me, I edit a lot of stuff, and I sometimes just want to put together a video and just send it up onto YouTube or whatever there. But um, you can also do this with like your camera phones and other pocket cameras, where you can do effects to the video, like in this case, a film vignetted look and you can upload it directly and people are going to be like, how did you do that? That was from your phone, man. <laughs> how did you do that? And they might get like really worried, but hopefully they'll be more impressed than worried. Something to think about. Anyways, um, check out the test film I did. And if you, uh, I don't know, if you like this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the effect. You can leave it on the other uh, channel, on the other video. Uh, thing, but uh, subscribe if you're not already because I got some cool tutorials coming up. Um, I got some DSLR stuff that's pretty sweet, some short little films and skits that I'm going to be um, uploading in the future here real shortly, and tons of little flip tricks and tips and even little videos. I don't know why I love shooting with this thing. Alright, uh, anyways, that's all. Thanks again for watching. What are we at? Okay. Alright, that's all for now. I gotta get back to work. Let's do this! Alright, no, seriously, let's do this. That's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, thank you. This one's for you. All right. On. We're on.